phenomenon. Uh, also, we catch up with a guy known only as the Sagittarian. He's been getting a little bit of play on Juice TV lately uh, via his great Karma Killer video. So we um, catch up with him and try and unwrap the mystery that is the Sagittarian. That's all coming up a little bit later. We've got uh, great new videos as well. Now recently on Juice TV, you may have been seeing a video popping up by a guy called the Sagittarian, shot in uh, Bangkok and around Thailand. And I was, I was a bit curious. I saw this and I was like, who is this guy? So I decided to hunt him down and found out he's an enigma wrapped in a mystery. Here we are with the Sagittarian. How are you, mate? How you doing, Pierre? How are you doing? Excellent, excellent. First of all, let's let's talk about Karma Killer, uh, the the video and uh, the track for that. Um, I understand that uh, that you actually produced and did the video yourself. Yeah, well, it was um, me and my manager Anastasia, and uh, we went to Thailand for a holiday. We thought, oh, let's um, film a music video while we're there. And yeah, it turns out we didn't really have much of a holiday and we just shot the whole time and got to go to all these cool places and yeah, it was just a nightmare, but yeah, it turns out pretty good. So, yeah. Nice. So uh, whereabouts in, in uh, Thailand was that shot? Um, most of it was like around where the beach was filmed and we actually got stranded on there for a night, which was pretty cool. Um, like a monsoon came, so we couldn't go back. Um, and what else happened? Like uh, we, in, in uh, Bangkok, we filmed like the tuk-tuks and stuff, and that was fun. But we did a little bit back here. Like I did the the temple scene is actually in my garage at home, um, and the bar scenes here at Crowbar. So, but yeah, 90% of it's over there. Yeah. Um, uh, was it was it hard to get um, permission to do that? Or did you actually no. get permission? No, no permission. You don't need to. Like, they don't really care over there. So we just, you know, I just put the white suit on and go get a shot of me walking down the road somewhere. We had no script. We we're making it up as we went along. Yeah. Um, I didn't even ha made the song then. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I had a beat on my phone. I was like, dum, 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 dum. okay, maybe he's a good hitman or something, you know? And then we got back here. Mikey, my flat, my flatmate, Mikey Rockwell, rapped on it, and I was like. That's awesome. Um, so I put him in the in the video and made him in the photo, and we made the story up again later on. So yeah, we're just writing it as we went. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. So in in the video, he is the mark. Yeah, he's the mark, and um, we didn't have an ending, so he just sort of got to the end. Before, what the hell are we gonna do now? It's this big build up, and um, so I thought maybe I'm just like the DJ or something, and then yeah, we have got the monks and. So, yeah. he's, he's I, I, I understand it's pretty hard to find breakdancing monks. Uh, no, not not. Well, they're not actually real monks. Um, I'll, you know, I'll let the cat out of the bag. You know. I'm shocked. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tell us a little bit about uh, about your background in making music because I, I understand you've been doing it for a little while. Yeah. Um, well, uh, I've been doing a bit of music before I did High Octane, which is like a series that me and my brother did for like six years about performance cars. Um, before that, I did a bit of techno. And basically I was like, one day I've got to make some music and get this shit out there because I reckon I could you know, do a good job of it. And so, yeah, it's mostly like I do it on the computer. I do all the vocals and, and make all the beats and then record guitars and stuff. And I'm working on an album this year to be released late this year. And I've got three singles coming out which are just, they're going to blow your mind. Yeah. It's time to step up the plate, you know. Excellent. So, yeah. Now, is uh, is the single Karma Killer? Is that an indication of the sort of stuff that you're doing, or is it is it um, covering quite a ri wider scope of it, sound? It's actually a bit of a collaboration with me and Mike, and um, it's more of a techno sound. The stuff you're going to hear later on is more pop, but it's good pop. It's not cheesy stuff. Yeah. yeah. A bit of retro in there as well. Nice. Yeah. What, what sort of retro are we talking? Oh, like Sly well, and the Family Stone retro, or a uh, bit of Gun GNR. Guns N' Roses. I got a mate, Simon, who's sort of joined the Sagittarian now, and he just plays the guitar like Slash. So that on top of beats with vocals, yeah, just amazing. So I'm looking forward to getting that out to everyone. Brilliant. Okay, uh, I understand you you um, you have your own record label as well that you've set up. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, uh, I got funding from the Russians for this record label, <laughs> and. Um, yeah man, so I've got my own record label, I'm going to sign uh, this R&B artist, this young girl, who's just amazing, sounds like Lauren Hill, um, and I'm just going to keep it small though, just a few artists, and yeah, we'll be releasing some more stuff next year, and that's called Moonlight Sounds. Cool. Mm. Okay, well look, we've got, uh, we've got the Karma Killer video 
Right. Are we going to be seeing some more in the not too distant future? Oh yeah, I've already actually got the next video filmed done. The song, I'm just paying for a sample for it, oh my god. Um, <laughs> it's Finley Quay sample in there, so it's quite a cool, cool track. Yeah. And it's like a house dub track, and it's called Insane. Um, and that's coming out probably another six weeks or five weeks, yeah. Cool. Excellent. Okay, well, uh, great to meet you, Sagittarian. Yeah, cheers, Pierre. <laughs> no worries. Uh, let's take a look at Karma Killer from the Sagittarian. Come on, boys. Let's get down. 